You know, we have a very sacred concept in Islam called barakah. And it's often normally translated as blessing. What's really fascinating even about the linguistic meaning of this word barakah and blessing that is used throughout the Qur'an, this word is actually used to describe Allah. فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ تَبَارَكْتَ يَا ذَا الْجَلَالِ وَالْإِكْرَانِ تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكُ So this word barakah, even the root, the linguistic root of the word, يَدُلُّ عَلَى النِّمَا وَالزِّيَادَةِ It actually means something that lasts, al-baqa, something that lasts for a very long time, and something that increases. So therefore, when we talk about barakah, we talk about blessings. These are blessings that are perpetually increasing, exponentially benefiting blessings. And then furthermore, when we talk about the Islamic concept of barakah and blessing, the Islamic concept, there's a dua of the Prophet wasallam. it's called qunut nazila, it's a dua that was related, taught by the Prophet wasallam to his own beloved grandson, Hassan radiallahu anhu. And I always try to point this out. Think about how beautiful it is for a grandfather to pick up his grandson, sit him in his lap, hug him and kiss him, and then say, repeat after me, son. Allahumma hdini fi man hadayt. وَعَافِنِي فِي مَنْ عَافَيْتِ وَتَوَلَّنِي فِي مَنْ تَوَلَّيْتِ وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ This little part of this dua, وَبَارِكْ لِي فِي مَا أَعْطَيْتِ This right here is the summary of the concept of barakah in Islam. Let me translate this for you. وَبَارِكْ And oh Allah put blessing. Put huge, unbelievable, never-ending blessings. Li, for me. Fima, in that which. A'ataita. You have already given. That's the past tense. It's the past tense. A'ataita. Meaning what you have already given. I'm not asking for more, Allah. What I'm asking for is that what you have given me is more than enough. It suffices, what I already have is more than enough. I'm just now asking Ya Allah to inject the element of barakah and blessing into that which you have already given me. That is the concept of barakah. Barakah is not more. Barakah is not about more. Barakah is about the ability to do more with less. Barakah has nothing to do with quantity, it has everything to do with quality. The quality of what you have. I don't need more, Ya Allah. I just need blessing on what I have. The ability to do more with less. You know, more and less, and blessed and not blessed, and quantity versus quality. And if you really get to thinking, if you do some deep soul searching, it'll hit you like a punch. It'll really knock the wind out of you. Because you read a narration about the Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know, the day that he passed away, there were a couple of mats, there was one or two jugs, there was a mule tied outside the house, there was a sword, there was a shield, and a couple of pairs of clothes. That was the sole possession of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the greatest human being to ever walk the face of this earth. That's all he had. But just to put it, things into perspective, you gotta chew on that for a second. Today we got one home, five people within the home, everybody's got a job, everybody's working, and we're still in debt. Something's wrong, something's missing.